You'll be ready for the Great British Bark Off with these doggone tasty training treats. Good boy! Hello dears! My goodness it has been a bit since my last video, hasn't it? You might be wondering where I've been off to these past couple months. Well, I've had my hands quite full with this little guy. I am excited to introduce everyone to Basil, the English Cocker Spaniel, our newest family member. Basil came home with us in May and has been settling in quite nicely. Now, if you have ever owned a puppy, you will know that they are quite a considerable amount of work and require quite a bit of training. One of the safest and most effective ways to train puppies is to use food rewards. However many store-bought training treats can be costly and contain ingredients you may not want to feed your pup. I have been making my own training treats for Basil at home and thought it would be a wonderful idea to share the recipe with you all. It uses only four ingredients and whips up in a flash. So let's get to it. In a large bowl, measure out 240 grams of flour. I like to use whole wheat flour as it has a higher nutrient content, but all purpose flour can be used here as well. To this, we will add 40 grams of shredded cheddar cheese. and three eggs. Let's stir these together until they are well combined. The last ingredient we will need is 454 grams of uncooked ground chicken or turkey. Now, it's very important to practice proper food safety when handling any raw meats. That means washing your hands well before and after handling, as well as thoroughly disinfecting your work surfaces and kitchen tools after use. I will be using ground chicken for my treats. I like to add it in a little bit at a time, mixing well between each addition. Did you know that puppies should begin training and socialization from the moment you bring them home? Not only are they learning valuable skills and behaviors that will be important as they mature, but it also helps create a strong bond with you and your puppy, as well as gives them important mental stimulation to prevent boredom and unwanted behaviors. We started Basil in puppy class as soon as we brought him home at Best Paw Forward located in Osteen, Florida. We have taken all of our doggies to Best Paw Forward, which uses gentle and effective training methods based on trust and respect. If you happen to be in the Central Florida area, I cannot recommend this facility enough. All right, that's looking pretty mixed in to me. As you can see, it's a pretty thick and sticky mixture, but that's okay. Now we just need to put this in a pan and bake it. I have here a 13 by nine inch baking pan that has been lined with foil. I have also sprayed it with a bit of cooking spray to help it release from the pan after baking. Let's spread our mixture evenly into the pan. As I mentioned, it is a very thick mixture, so take your time getting it all evened out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It looks like a casserole from a 1950s recipe book. We will bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 177 degrees Celsius, for about 40 minutes. It should appear dry and be shrinking away from the edges slightly. Allow to cool, then cut into training treat sized pieces. As you can see, I have cut mine rather tiny. Basil is still quite a little guy, and with the amount of training we do in a day, I like to have the pieces very small so he doesn't fill up too quickly. What I love about these treats is that they are slightly soft, but still firm enough that they aren't difficult to handle when training. The important part though is the doggy approval test. Why don't we have a little training demonstration to see what Basil thinks of his special homemade doggy treats? Basil, come! Good boy! Basil, down. 
What a good boy. Oh, you like those treats? Basil, stand. Good boy. What a good boy, sit. Oh, it's so perfect. These are yummy, huh? Basil, go settle. Good boy. Touch. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Stand. Good boy. Sit. Yay! Good boy! Looks like the results are in, and Basil gives these treats his bloppy-eared seal of approval. These treats are a quick, easy, and healthy alternative to store-bought treats that I am sure your own pup will love. I do hope you give them a try. If you are looking for more pet-friendly baking recipes, be sure to check out my videos on homemade dog cake and dog biscuits. Much love to all of you. Until next time, mwah! Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Good job!